way to another Romanian city because we're looking for some part for our car and the weather has been really awful and the landscape is not so good, the same as mood. So we're driving from one city to another and uh, hopefully we will get there soon. This is the longest I've ever grown my beard. And, and you think people really want to see it, right? Guys, what do you think? Well, I didn't realize it would be so white and I'm pretty certain that Getting old, my dear. If this wasn't happening, maybe it would be a lot looking, looking a lot different. So what are we doing? What's the date today? Is it day eight? Uh, nine. Day nine today, the third of March, right? So we're basically um, gonna uh, drive to Hungary and we're gonna go, we're gonna explore this option of going to uh, UK Embassy and see what they say. Okay, so we've got a friend in the UK. He, his girlfriend has just gone through that process. And so we're sort of, we're just seeing if it's, if it's an option for Luger and um, see if they can, they can do their, uh, get over there with, with as minimal issues as possible because they're offering visas. These are not asylum uh, visas. These are visas, they, could, they would probably be able to come and go. They, um, they uh, are work visas, they can work as well and uh, social services and all that stuff so so it seems like a good option i have a uk citizenship as well so i can just hang out there as, as much as i want as well i'm just showing that they bring they bring us food let's see between from ukraine and they bring us like two pieces oh, the, of pizza that before it's incredible actually like uh, when people i don't know they just kind of guessed that here they just guessed well, i guess they heard them talking i suppose but I think because everybody I have is, on my phone, I put the flag. Ah, uh, yeah, everybody's, everybody's like so sympathetic, they don't need to pay for anything, you know? It's just, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty special. Um, so then we've got that option, but there's also the option of like other countries like Germany and all that stuff. I'm really sketched out about the whole thing in Europe thing. I, my own personal thoughts is that uh, it's not gonna, if, if, if the resources on Russia's side are there, I think that they'll come through and go to Moldova and maybe even through into some other former Soviet Union countries or something, but of course, you know, who knows what's going to happen. But I mean, there's also the option of the United States as well, there's also the option of Canada. Um, so right now we don't really know, we're just going to kind of wing it, I guess. And so today we're just going to drive and it's like the most incredible, like snow. I don't know if you can see the snow. I will take you outside pretty sad like every time we come to some place where we can see the TV like my my everything is just going but the good thing I talk to mom maybe 20 times a day you can't see but it's like so big it's everywhere almost like Christmas so we come here to fix something for our car uh, while we're waiting we get to the gas station and we will keep you posted with our journey that is that could be an interesting road trip but unfortunately it's very sad well one thing i was just going to say then was that if um we don't really know what's going on and we're trying to figure it out as we go and there's a lot of stuff online that's kind of true maybe true so if you know someone who is ukrainian and they are seeking like asylum or asylum it's not really asylum but a place to go where you could be taken care of definitely send them our videos because we're going to try and show it along the way from our experience not just from links or anything like that but what actually happens to us so if you know anyone in ukraine then let and, them know uh, and please subscribe to our telegram group because there are like guys asking about uh, like i have all these several girlfriends of some uh, guys uh, with uh, help of different volunteers yeah, look in the description below. If there's links or anything, we will put um, we'll put them in below. But definitely go check out uh, the Telegram. Uh, we have a community that we had prior to this, and um, they're posting stuff in there that may be useful as well. So we have just installed this. Looks like I'm pointing at you. So our this looks like we've just installed this on the car to make things a little bit easier. Yeah. So our home looks have a little bit more space. Okay, let's go. Uh, it'll traffic jam again. 
just to share the day. Share the evening at 5 p.m. probably. Endless, 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 endless. Hmm. Whew, about, uh, it's it's, it's still... our thing. <laughs> and it's about uh, five hours more to our destination. We decided to stay with our uh, family members of our friend from UK and they're in Hungary. And we hope to get there today. The weather is beautiful. Finally, it's no rain and no snow. It's just the traffic. Saker, you look amazing. I've been, uh, yeah, working out. <laughs> Good evening everyone. Uh, what time? We did check. 7.45. Okay. No, 6.45. 6.45 and we are on the way to Hungary and the best message that I've got today, no, it was two messages. First, when I text my mom if everything is okay and second is when um, the family member of our friend in Hungary said that she is waiting for us with a tasty dinner and warm tea. <laughs> it was very nice of her. Kind of cold. Okay, that's yeah. the update along this way, isn't it? What we else is this? We got this, uh, how do you call it? I don't know. <laughs> this thing as a storage and we have a flag and a lot of people while we were driving was just beep beeping and waving to us and uh, the gas station we met also family from uh, Odessa and uh, the way we know it's like the number plate starting from BH uh, so that's how we know that it is Ukraine and especially Odessa we will probably do the next video at home of our friend. Straight here went to clean the camera. Perfect! <laughs> 9 p.m. here, uh, sorry, 8.51. And we came to the little city in, in Hungary that in USSR had a lot of Russian military bases and they have one of the oldest and biggest aviation museum in central europe and you know what we're not going to go there <laughs> that's all for now we arrived to the area and yes. look at this incredible food that these people are helping us with helping us for a place to stay and incredible hospitality i'm, uh, I'm forever grateful and they've given us local uh, alcohol, which is 100% alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> which is incredibly strong. 